I Did This For You, written and narrated by Sister Mandy Griffith. Our family was watching a movie series on the life of Christ a few years back. The boys were little, the Easter season was near, and we were blessed to reinforce to our young sons the story of Jesus and his great love for us through salvation's plan. As the movie went on, it came to the part where Jesus had been arrested, presented before the religious leaders of the day, and mocked and scorned for not defending himself nor denying who he truly was. I began to weep. I was so deeply hurt by the way Jesus was being treated, falsely accused, despised and hated, charged with death. I honestly couldn't bear the thought of what he was going through in that moment, no less what was yet to come. I lamented within myself, no, Lord, you shouldn't have done this, not for me. I wasn't worth it. I didn't deserve it. I couldn't bear you suffering for my sake. While grieving in my spirit, I felt a hand on my shoulder. I closed my eyes and heard the word of the Lord. Weep not, my daughter, for this had to be. For though I suffered affliction for a short time, I did this for you so one day you could reign with me. Words cannot sufficiently express the depth of love I felt upon hearing that message. I did this for you, so one day you could reign with me. And while I rejoice in that hope, I will never completely comprehend Christ's sacrificial love for his children. My Lord gave his life so that my soul can be saved and reunited with him. Oh, what a promise to us all. For behold, he surely must die that salvation may come. Yea, it behooveth him and becometh expedient that he dieth to bring to pass the resurrection of the dead, that thereby men may be brought into the presence of the Lord. Helaman 14, 15.